Hello and finally welcome to a monthly mystery stream here at 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and uh, today I'm going to be streaming the opening of February's Retro Game Treasure box. I love Retro Game Treasure. I've been subscribed for 9-10 months now. It's been great. Um, this is a service that sends you retro games based on the systems you want, uh, based on games you don't have yet and based on genres that you like. It's really cool. So you get three to five games every month, and I always open the box, show you what they are, and then play them. So you can see if maybe they're games you might want to play someday. And uh, if you're interested in Retro Game Treasure, go to RetroGameTreasure.com, and you use the code 5J at checkout to get a discount. Anyway, so we're here to open this box for you today, and then play all the games. So we'll see what happens here. Let's check our chat since we were a little bit late. We got, hello sir, we got Kiwi, thanks for being here guys, sorry I'm like half an hour late. I had some technical issues and I think it's because my OBS updated and I didn't restart my computer. Once I restarted it was good though. You finished Harry Potter, nice! I'm not going to read out that potential spoiler there, I know it's old, but still. Anyways, Firepowered's here, what's up? That's great, welcome guys. Let's check this box out, shall we? And as usual, it's going to have some... Packaging junk. More packaging junk. No little insert thing. Okay. I can feel a couple of Game Boy games in there already. Let's see. Let's uh, start with this one. Feels like an original Game Boy or possibly early Game Boy Color game. Ready? What is it? Wave Race! Nice! So I loved Wave Race on the N64. I cannot wait to see what it was like on Game Boy. Because they always seem to have creative ways to make uh, make the old Game Boy versions of things. So, I'm excited for this. Awesome! Let's check this out. Next here. It's a Game Boy Advance game. What is it? Spider-Man 2, nice. Now, Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation 2 was an amazing, amazing game. We'll see if the Game Boy Advance title can live up to that uh, pedigree there. Licensed games that I get with Retro Game Treasure, usually actually pretty good games. I'm very uh, surprised all the time. They're really good about picking out good games you wouldn't expect, so hidden gems. All right, I'm feeling, oh, two more games. I'm feeling Super Nintendo. What is it? Ha! On with the Spider-Man theme. We got Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge from LJN. Now, typically LJN, notorious for terrible video games. Will this be terrible? Some of you probably already know what you think about this game. I don't know. I've never actually played it. So we are going to try it here tonight. A Night or Spooder Man! That's right, more Spooter Mess. See if we can get one more Spooter Mess. Now this one feels like it's a Dreamcast game because it's in a disc case. And it might have a cover on it. So what is it? Oh wait, there's something else in there. I didn't notice. If there's got a cover, I'm going to open it. Yeah, what is it? Or possibly, what is it? Fighting Force 2. Okay. I've never heard of it. Let's check it out. We'll do the Dreamcast game last because I have to get up and switch my uh, setup a little bit to be able to play it. And then there was one more game rolling around in there. I just didn't realize. Another Game Boy Advance game. What is it? Inspector Gadget Advance Mission. I've never heard of that. I cannot believe there's an Inspector Gadget game on Game Boy Advance. That had to be so far out of uh, when Inspector Gadget was popular as a cartoon. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll see if this is any good as well. All right, guys. Those are four best cartoons as uh, Firepowered, right? Pretty awesome cartoon. 
So, as a reminder of the games we got here today, we got Wave Race on the Game Boy. We got Spider-Man 2, Game Boy Advance. We got Inspector Gadget, Game Boy Advance. We got Spider-Man and X-Men, Arcade's Revenge on Super Nintendo. And we got Fighting Force 2 on the Dreamcast. So we'll do the Dreamcast last and we'll play the rest in uh, the order that we open them. So that means we're starting with Wave Race. Excellent. I don't know what your message is there, Kiwi. I can't tell. Firepower says 10 out of 10, 5 stars, A+, plus, A+, plus, 4 out of 5, 100%. Four and a half stars. I don't know. I don't. I think your hundred percent thing fell apart there. Unknown cartridge, of course. You just you gotta finesse these things. There we go. There we go. We're gonna play with a NES controller. Okay. Make sure the NES controller is set up for Game Boy games. It is not. There we go. Give it a whirl. Oh, it looks beautiful already. Also, you probably want to see the game now, huh? There you go. There's the beautiful game. Jay Bobo's joined us. Nice. Why did you have to prove that message? I don't know. That's my auto mod. It caught it for some reason. I don't know. Sometimes auto mod is a little too sensitive. All right. One play, let's do, I probably should have done practice. And put your name! I think I get three letters. So I'm gonna do just five, J, and then maybe blank. Oh, I had four letters. Okay, great, now I'll do J-A-Y. Excellent. Let's do this, let's race some waves. My volume for my. Here we go. Slalom or circuit? Slalom sounds difficult. Let's try just a circuit. At the lowest CC, much higher than Mario Kart, by the way, 550. Could you imagine Mario Kart at 550 CC? Whoo! Be nuts. The Bahamas! Ooh! Sounds awesome. Hello, says J Bobo, and hello, says Kiwi2 J Bobo. Let's see what Wave Race on Game Boy is like. Top down? I did not expect that. That is not go at all. <laughs> okay. It's a bit of a droning noise, as you might expect from a jet ski game. Oh! Oh! Oh, A is a boost. That's how you catch up on some folks. There is some significant screen flicker. Wow, that map is essentially not even on the screen. It's flickering so hard. Oh yeah. Pass him. We're in third. We're doing it. Ha, take that. Is there, is there like a, a lane? Why is there a darker part of the water? I don't understand. Then the boost doesn't seem to work all the time either. We're about to get into Foist. Come on, take this fool out. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. That sound is special, isn't it? Get off me. Yeah! First place! Now, when I've seen images of this game, I could have sworn it was a side view dealing with the waves themselves. So I wonder if the slalom game is uh, from the side. I'll be interested to give that a shot. Uh, let's see, uh, Kiwi says, hello, I made Ooblek today for the science experiment. It was weird. What's Ooblek? What's point ranking? Okay. Jbo says L2 Wave Race. L2 Wave Race? What's that? This game looks like it was made by those Tex Gamer companies. Tex Gamer the game. Firepowered says, my name's Jeff. Is it actually Jeff? Because that would be like 
new information. I would not not have known that. Ah! Oh boy! Oh, that's a jump! I bet. You can do tricks off them things. Uh oh, a sharp turn. Why is he blinking? Does he have a power up? This I am not aware of. Seen a bad little racer though. The droning is, uh, you know, a little much, but it feels uh, somewhat watery-ish. I'm curious to see what the slalom mode is like. You get two laps in a race, so I got a lot of catching up to do here from fourth. Wee! Oh, is that see, that's cool. Oh, back and forth. It says I'm first for a second, that's strange. I don't think it understands placement when you go around corners. Hey, get off me. Yes, oh, I had second for a moment. Yeah, it feels like I could skip parts of the track, but I have a feeling it's not going to like if I try to do that. Ah! Oh no! We went from first to fourth. Well done, 5J. You are excellent at this game. Lel, 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 lel. L2 equals learn to. Oh. I see. Lol, come on, 5J. Showing your age. <laughs> yeah. I, uh. It's making fun of me. That's cruel. Nintendo, you're hurting my feelings over here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, there's four four rounds. I see, I see. Uh, Kiwi says it's the thing where if you put your hand through it, it acts like a liquid, and you put force on it, it's a solid. Oh, okay. Everyone says Jay doesn't know about the meme. My name is my my name Jeff meme. No, I have no idea. Jay Bobo doesn't know either. So hi, you're old too. Deal with that, Jay Bobo. All right, this is a new one. Apparently, doesn't care that I got dead last. What is going on there? Oh. So do I want to be in the darker parts or not? It almost seems like it's slowing me down. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. After this one, we're going to try the slalom mode and move on to the next game. Oh, the B button on my NES controller is dying on me here. I'm still holding the button and it stop, stops working. Uh-oh. Didn't like that. Oh, no! I had to go around the inside of that one. Oh, man. Now I'm super far behind. I have to go around this side of this little bumper thing or it doesn't count. Yep, it's over. It's over. There's no recovering from this. Oh, actually, time over. That's weird. Yikes. Man, I need to learn to wave race indeed. This game rules, says so J. I will deal with that because I'm an adult. Well, well, well. You broke your arm. That's right. Uh, man, this game sucks, says Kiwi. Jay is a man child. No offense. I am a man child. Let's reset this game so we can try the other. the other mode. Sure, 5J, wait. We're already 5J, we're good, we're good. Slalom. Now I'm expecting this one to look a little different, and if it doesn't, we might just quit. What in the world? So whenever I saw screenshots of this game, it was always 2D from the side, not top down. So I don't know what's going on here. Huh. Maybe that's just a different... I can't even begin to imagine what I'm thinking of. Huh. Well, interesting. It is what it is. Let's try out our next game here. Let's see. Uh, Kiwi says, we need a Switch port of all games. All games. I agree. Every game under the sun needs a Switch port. I love it. Next game we opened was Spider-Man 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Let's give it a shot. 
Licensed game. Let's hope it's good. Wrecked, says J-Bo. I was totally wrecked. Uh, wow, that's loading slowly. J-Bo, or Firepower says to J-Bo, wrecked isn't a thing anymore. It's roasted. Oh, man. j says, when should I say then roasted? <laughs> Firepower says, age. Yeah, it's roasted. We got to inform adults about youth culture. You absolutely do. Absolutely you do. Because we're just stewing in our old culture that was once cool and is no longer. So you got to help us realize how lame we are. And to help us pretend that we're not lame by pretending that we already knew all the cool lingo. So, vital role that you play, Firepowered. Vital. Jabo says, roast is old though, lol. It is, but it can make its way back around. Kiwi says, yeah, okay, Jabo will say, yeah, instead of yes. <laughs> Jabo says, never! I shall never. I gotta get this back to looseness. Uh, Kiwi says, oh, and left shark is still funny. Left shark? It's not like nun pizza with left beef. Firepower says, roast is old, but there's nothing more recent, right? Superman 64 HD for the Switch! <laughs> Kiwi, great idea. They should definitely do that. Look at this horribly low-resolution movie clip from a Spider-Man movie that probably came out before most of you were born. Well, some of you, because there's only three people watching. <laughs> that was a weird noise. Pizza Dash. All right, sounds like a good first level. Let's dash them pizzas. Joe says, I can't wait to embarrass my kids. Cash me outside. How about I? <laughs> I love it. Uh, Firepowered says, catch me outside should be burned. That's funny. Wait, why is that B? That's the A button. He doesn't like it. Start button. What do I got to do to get this thing to start? This is unbelievable. We're on start. That's so weird. We got it, we got it. I hate doing this style of name, so I just do ace. It's super easy. Spooderman VO Sev All Days. What? What? Parker, I got a deliveries for you to make downtown. You gotta make seven and a half minutes to make all five deliveries. I love that I'm about to deliver some pizzas. Seven and a half minutes? No way can I make that many deliveries in time. I'm just a nerd. Well, you better or you're out of a job. This is surely how he sounds. All right, Spider-Man's gonna deliver some pizzas. All right, triumphant stance. We got a punch. We got a, whoa, yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of an awesome animation. And he kind of dives if you let him. Climb up building walls. I'm liking it. Do I get the punch, guys? Guess this thing delivered. Why are they giving it directly to Spider-Man? Don't they realize something is up when they're giving the pizza to Spider-Man himself? Okay. Those are not web swinging. Break windows with your punch. Okay. Thanks, Spider-Man. I gotta go back this way? Can I climb up the face of the building? Because that's what I want to do. Can I... I can't climb the front of a building? That doesn't seem right. Only the sides of buildings, fellas. It's the only solid surface a building has. The side. Get this thing delivered. Where? Oh, okay. Wow, we're just breaking into buildings around here. No, no, yes, no. Somebody up there looked like he needed some pizza. I never thought I'd play a Spider-Man pizza delivery game. I don't know about you guys. My life is complete now. I've delivered pizzas as Spider-Man. What else can I possibly do with my life? Um, is there like an elevator or something? 
Oh, uh, whoa, okay. All right, so I was able to... Oh, cool. Nice. Sweet. Looks like this is a little more complicated than I thought it was going to be here. It's got some uh, some depth to it. You can uh, use your little webs to attach to walls and things above you. Good, good idea, Spider-Man. Why is the Pizza Man on the roof? Gee, that's a great question. Considering he probably wasn't expecting Spider-Man to deliver the pizzas, why would he be on the roof? This is a great question, Jay Bobo. Thank you for noticing the absurd. All right, elevator. Weird, I can travel in and out of this elevator. Okay. Why? Don't know if I'm supposed to deliver there, or the next building over. There's no indicator of where the pizzas are supposed to go. So I guess I'm just gonna break every window I come in contact with. Hey, there's a dude. Thanks, Spider-Man. All right, how many pizzas do I have left? That seems like way too many. I don't like this. There you go. Nope, that is so very slow. Somehow his web is shooting through the building and going like on the top of the building so he can like still swing. He is simultaneously inside a building and therefore not inside a building because of the swinging pattern. Wow, Spider-Man, you got more talents than I thought. Uh, can't you just cheat and swing off the sky? That's essentially what's happening, yeah. We're essentially just swinging off the sky. That's about how this is going. go through I can go through the air ducts that sounds like a cool stealth thing that'll eventually be a mechanic I'm sure there we go awesome I think this would actually be pretty awesome to play on my uh, on my Game Boy micro I bet this would be a lot of fun once we get past the pizza swinging area I bet it'd be really fun to sneak up on guys and attack them from behind and stuff you know oh there's another nice I'm starting to get the hang of this. I feel a little bit like Batman, though, sneaking around. I feel like Spider-Man didn't do quite as much sneaking around. But, hey. Whatever gets your pizzas in some guy's mouth, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a weird way to say it, 5J. What is this? Oh, a trampoline between office buildings. Seems legit. I can see why you'd want a trampoline between office buildings. You know, you get a little bored, you're like, hey, stimulate the mind, get the juices flowing, let's bounce really high. It's great for business. I'm finding random collectibles, but I'm not finding people to eat my pizza. Somebody on the roof? Why not? The delivery guy was on the roof. What about somebody? Hey, there is somebody on the roof trying to eat pizza. Nice. That person knows what life is about. Eating pizza on a roof. That's what that, that's what life is about. If we're honest with ourselves. Jump. There we go. Swing on that sky. Let's see. Something a link was posted and they're saying, is it offensive? I don't know why are we are posting offensive links. What's going on? Let's see, uh, Kiwi says, why is Spider-Man delivering pizzas? Yes. Is he a superhero? Yes. If so, why is he delivering pizza? Why is he breaking through windows? Why is the pizza man on the roof? Why can you swing from the sky? Why did the pizza guy make him deliver pizzas on a seven minute time limit without giving him locations? Is he trying to get him fired? Uh, if so, why is he getting fired? Is he a bad worker? If he's a bad worker, why is he a superhero? Why does this game exist? So many unanswered questions. Ah! Yeah, this is based on the beginning of the Spider-Man 2 movie with Tobey Maguire, if you've never seen that. Uh, basically, the premise is uh, Peter Parker's life sucks, even though Spider-Man's life, you know, is he's Spider-Man's awesome. Peter Parker is just not respected by anyone anywhere for any reason. And uh, he is a pizza boy. He does have to make a delivery, 
and he decides because he's behind, he uh, is going to complete his delivery as Spider-Man, you know, swing and, and make things go quickly. But, of course, because he's Spider-Man, some crime happens and he interrupts his delivery. Or, I think, I think it's like to save a boy. He saves a, a young boy from certain death by a truck. And then he goes to complete his delivery and he's late. And then he gets fired. So it's based on the movie, but the movie was never this ridiculous. You weren't, you know, getting pizzas from a guy on the roof and then breaking through windows in an office building. None of that ever happened in the movie. So I don't know what's going on there. I am liking these, uh, this swing mechanic. So if you just kind of... Yeah! See, that's awesome. I just press the R button. He just attaches himself to something. It's great. Except I need a place to deliver a pizza. We got 44 seconds. Come on. Who's hungry for some freaking pizza? Spider-Man will give you a free pizza. Yes, he will. I should have been using a save state. So that I would know where to go. And now it's probably too late. We're going to find out. Did you get past this? Come on! How is there not somebody past the, the trampoline area? Get on that side of the wall. There! A family! Right? Right? Yeah! Spider-Man! Yeah! He done it. Oh! And we get to level him up? A chain combo? But we haven't even really done any... Oh, okay, that's fine. 130. We're going to have a chain combo one. Hitting B multiple times performs a chain attack. Sounds great. That's cool. We're leveling up Spider-Man after delivering pizzas. Joe says, I've seen worse and better. Oh, because you were looking at the thing. We don't really care about Doc Ock. We don't. Fire part says, palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti, burb, what? Interesting. What's going on there, fire powered? Alright, so now, what do we have to do with Spider-Man? Apparently we can't skip the cutscene. Rescue all the trap people in the building before it's too late. Alright, trap people. Oh, I see. Fire level chasing you. Nice. Well, I like the art style of the game. I think uh, the Spider-Man controls are pretty cool. I'm gonna see how the combo works. I'm gonna have a wombo combo. Oh, ouch. Maybe it only works when you're fighting enemies? There's like a little bit of slowdown actually with those, those flames. It's a little odd on a Game Boy Advance game. Usually not much slowdown to speak of. It's kind of a lot of slowdown, actually. Did you get on top of this thing? Come on. Save the peeps. I'm getting stuck on walls and stuff a lot that I would not... Come on. Get out of the fire. That's not what I wanted you to do, dude. A little bit of over-stickiness. little dive action, I like that. So you also have this web power that I haven't been using. Where is it? Thought it was one of these. Oh, there it is. L. Where's the other scientist? Up here? Aha. Oh, oh, oh! That one, uh, the one voiceover effect is not great. Oh, 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 oh! That's a little annoying. Music, pretty standard. Slowdown's not cool, but I think I think the game looks cool. I think it has some really cool controls. I'm ex oh, there's a combo. You gotta be in in some combat. Oh, he gets the kick in there. Get the foot going. 
Oh, it makes the whole level dark. That's interesting. Not sure that's how fire works. A wall of black behind it, maybe. Guess I haven't been in a fire. Oh no! Spider-Man died in a fire! It's not very heroic, dude! Well, I think this game is pretty cool. Uh, I feel like we've seen almost none of this game so far. But, uh, kind of behind schedule and we've got more games to go through. But, I'm surprised! I really expected this game to be a lot worse. Once again, uh, Retro Game Treasure. Finding some licensed games that aren't garbage. I do feel like Spider-Man crawling around like this, so I mean, that's great. Wah! Actually need that combo to be shorter. Two hits is all I have time for. I like how the guy's clipboard is on fire. Fire's not even here yet. Clipboard burning. I'm gonna hold on to it though. I still need this burning clipboard for who knows why. Cause why not? Cause Spider-Man's coming to save me. What's the picture that keeps flashing at the bottom? That was strange. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there's a little health. Nope, don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Come on, lady. Hey, an extra life. Cool. How do I get through that? Probably the little web thing. The one that goes this way. End of level, I think, right? Because this is where Doc Ock is going to be? Or... Oh, I gotta go down here. Cool. This is a poor choice for a level. <laughs> uh, I'm expecting more levels with, like, combat. So far, it's very task-oriented. Save these people. Deliver these pizzas. Uh, I kind of want to fight some bad guys and, like, a, like a crap ton of them. Is that cool? You know? Doc Ock? I want to get in a fight with old Docky. That's right. That's what most people call Doc Ock. Docky. Don't worry, I come up with the best nicknames. That's the, yeah. mm -hmm. Let go of that. Let go. Hey, Parker! Spider-Man doesn't fight bad guys. You're silly. You're right. You're right. He doesn't fight bad guys. I like that those little cutscenes there are like just like frames from like the PS2 game. It's like, hey, uh, we're not going to use frames from the movie. We're going to use... PS2 game graphic frames. A web net, improved web shot, an uppercut, a flip kick, faster movement actually sounds very yet yeah, very nice. Leap punch, roll sweep. Look at all this stuff. Holy crap. You can actually improve the crap out of Spider-Man. This is kind of awesome. We're going to make him move faster. That's what I want. Alright, last bit of a level before we go on to the next game. Jibo says he delivers pizza and he finds people. So far, that's about what this game is about. Stop all the looters! Okay, do I have to beat them up? Because if I just touch them, then that's not cool. I want to touch them with my fist. Yes! And there's little comic book whap sounds. That's awesome! I can, oh, I'm shooting webs at him. Okay, so it's not tying them up. It's hurting them. Nice. That's cool. Oh, and I see the little bar is how many webs I have. Cool. There is some beating up here. Not a ton. A little bit. I'm just going to punch him in the ankle. That's all you need to do. When you find a bad guy, just remember, folks. Punch him in the ankle, and then they'll go right down. Oh, this guy's actually fighting back a little bit. A little. Not a whole lot. Spider-Man might have some cool moves, but so far the uh, combat's pretty shallow. Ow. Blah! I got a jump kick going there. Oh, oh, that's not what you want. This music is very strange. Er, 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 er. Er, er. Pow! Thwack! Boom! Hey, it actually says pow, thwack, and boom. All three of those. 
Nice. Alright, well, I don't know if this is the best Spider-Man game I've ever played, but this is a pretty decent little portable uh, Spider-Man title. I'm liking it. Hey, there we go. Yikes. I'm gonna say the combat is pretty shallow so far, but it looks like you can unlock lots and lots of combos, so maybe it gets better. Again, punch him in the ankles, I'm telling you. And then it goes creesh and he falls over. Oh, and they're actually really running there. Yeah, yeah, oh. Nice. I would expect some sort of flying kick there, but nah. Alright, very cool. Not bad, not bad. You're gonna go, alright man, see you J-Bobo, thanks for coming. Yay violence, says Kiwi. Yay violence. Alright, we're moving on now to the next Spider-Man game. But well, this is Spider-Man and X-Men. What is it? Here's the easy one. Spider-Man, X-Men, Arcade's Revenge on the Super Nintendo. I love Super Nintendo. Let's see if this game's good. One moment. It was Superman, now Spider-Man! Why not Deadpool? Well, yeah. I think Deadpool wasn't quite as popular in these days as, uh, as he is today. 1992 we got here. Oh, look at Cyclops. He's beautiful! Most beautiful Cyclops has ever been. It's a, it's a joke. He looks awful. Oh, that music, though. Oh, yeah. Can you hear that music well enough? I can make sure that you do. I just hope I'm not too late. For Cyclops, then Storm and Wolverine. Gambit, look out! I know that truck. Arcade, I have to go after them. The lives of the X-Men depend on me. Get ready, Spider-Man. Well, he really is Spider-Man so far. Those are not the best Super Nintendo graphics I've ever seen. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. <laughs> Yikes. That's pretty ugly for a 16-bit game, if we're honest with ourselves here. So he's got some webs. Oh, well then. Can he swing? Can he not do his signature swing? So far. Oh, there we go. You can't do it while in the air. That's nonsense. Why would Spider-Man not be able to use his webs in the air? Oh, oh. You gotta get this just like just right. Okay. So it's more like uh, Bionic Commando. You gotta find a ledge that you're gonna hit with your web before you hit it. Okay. Can I climb on walls? Hey, they got one part of it right. I can't transfer them from the ceiling, but whatever. Can I get off this? There we go. Boy, this is an ugly Spider-Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comically ugly, this Spider-Man. Kiwi says, Burb, Cyclops looks like an unfinished British flag. <laughs> Dude, nice observation. He does look like an unfinished British flag. That's excellent. Oh, I bet you, you know what? I bet, I bet this stuff here, web shooter ammo. Right? No? What the heck was it? This music is kind of cool. What is that background? What on earth is that background? What is that? I don't understand. What is it? I never I don't know if I didn't notice that before and it was always there. Strange, but that's that's hideous. Okay. Stop grabbing those walls. I want to fall directly downward. Holy my spider sense was going crazy for a moment there. So far, that Game Boy Advance game is better than this one. 
I thought that there was some difficulty controlling that Game Boy Advance one. Yikes, this is kind of a nightmare, honestly. Just goes to show, just because it's a superhero doesn't mean that uh, it's any fun to play. We'll see. I would love to play as one of the other uh, superheroes in the title of this game. We'll see if we ever get to that point. Ugh. You're so slow up these walls, Spider-Man. Nope, can't shoot his webs upward. Only straightforward, kind of Mega Man style. I still have no idea what these are. I can't seem to collect those anymore. What just hurt me? Oh. Enemy off screen, of course. Looks like web shooters never run out. That's, you know, nice. Whatever. Oh! Can't even jump without getting hit. Man, these webs are so worthless. Oh! He can't punch or nothing! Am I just, like, confused? It's like, that's, that's all there is to this. He can only swing the one time. He can't do his famous swing to swing to swing to swing business. And this is the worst Spider-Man ever. He can do that, and that's fine. But I can't even make collect these collectibles anymore. Does it have to be in order? Can you imagine if it has to be in order? That's terrible. The background is an abomination. All these backgrounds, everything in this game so far, is just so hideous. Not as much as Spider-Man's running loop. <sighs> yeah, his animation is not good either. Man, this does not look like a Super Nintendo game. Spider-Sense, okay. Is that where we're supposed to be then, Spider-Sense? Nope, Spider-Sense is gone. Up this way. In there, huh? It's faster to jump between the walls than to just climb them. Do, do. All right, Spider Sense, show me where I'm supposed to go. You have to get them in order of Spider Sense. What? What nonsense is this? What? Can I not beat this level until I collect all the things and I have to collect them in spider sense order? Oh my goodness. That is awful. That is really bad. Man. Wow, great game, LJN. I can see why they're infamous. Okay. I mean, like, that swing, when you get that one swing going, it is kind of awesome. But it's one swing. I can't only do it standing still. You can't do it from the air. You can never follow it up. Thank goodness I get multiple in a row there. Get off the wall. Okay, spider sense go, says go this way. Where? I don't see it. Just fall straight down, please. Thank you. There we go. Okay, okay. I'm curious just to see what's in the next level. I gotta know. This is so janky and messed up. I gotta see what else there is. So I get to play as a different superhero soon. That might help me feel a little bit better. Faster to jump between the walls. Sounds similar. Slowly looks at Mario games with parkour. Right? The wall jumping was some of the best stuff in those Mario games. For real. Um, starting with Super Mario 64. Gotta love uh, doing the wall jumps on there. Some of the level designs in there were just awesome. Designed around that feature. 
I see you, Spider Sense, but there's not much I can do about you at the moment. Well, certainly that Game Boy Advance one had a much more agile, able bodied Spider Man. That Spider Man could get around. In fact, he could deliver five pizzas in seven minutes to people that he didn't even know where they were. He didn't know. He had no idea how to know where a person was who needed a pizza. But he got it to him. He got it to him lickety split. Because he's Spider Man. And he knows how to move. This is just horrible. Man. We gotta go all the way down to get this one. But this looks like it's end of the level type material, and now we have to go somewhere else. There's one right next to it. That's not the one you need to get. Please be this one. Please be this one. It's not this one. We're gonna have to come all the way back down here again. Yikes, LJN, what are you doing? Do you know what makes a game fun? So far, I don't think you do. Spider-Man looks like he's swiggity swooty. I'm coming for the booty when he's climbing the walls. I love it. Got that little bird, right? He does kind of look like that. Get in there. Please be the last one. Yes, please be the end. Thank goodness. Well done, Spidey, my butt. That was so bad. Now, please let me be an X-Man. Can I be one of them, please? Peter Parker. Select choose. Oh, Wolverine. Or Scott Slim Summers. I don't know his nickname was Slim. That's funny. I like Cyclops a lot. Storm or Gambit. Gambit's cool too, though. Also Wolverine, also Storm. Good, good X-Men. Good X-Men. Uh... I feel like Storm, let's see. Ah, uh, she doesn't sound like she can fly. Oh, I forgot to read Gambit. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna go with my gut and play Scott. Cyclops. Wolverine looks like a midget that got all brown for Halloween. Oh yeah, his costume was very brown in these days. Hey, he can actually shoot at angles, thank goodness. And he can actually punch! Wow, he is way better than Spider-Man. Spider-Man, you stink! Weird looking Wolverine, er, Wolverine, wow. Weird looking Cyclops, you the man! Your punch is pathetic, but at least you can punch at all. Oh, I see. It's a game of don't touch the lava. Well, as long as we're dead, let's move on. Let's try Gambit. Alright, come on, Gambit. Faster. Whoa! Completely different level, I see. He's chucking lots of playing cards in eight different directions. So that's good. Boy, just such an ugly game, though. So ugly. No! I actually want to try that one more time because I didn't test if you can punch. Can he punch? He cannot punch, but he can do whatever that is. He can do it more than one time, even. Good for you, Gambit. Don't know what you're up to, but apparently there were only two of them. Man, he can't throw these cards very far. <laughs> but at least he can throw them. Okay. How do I get in there without dying? Strange. Let's try uh, the Wolverine. Get ready, Wolverine. Why does game it remind me of when you're playing Metal Gear Solid and you die and you hear, Snake! 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 I don't know. I don't know why he reminds you of that. Alright, he's got a nice jump. He punches. Oh, and he takes out the claws. When he punches. 
Anything else? Oh, there's an upward hit. Can you climb with your claws? Unsure. Now, is it hurting me at all to use these claws? Is there anything wrong with using them? Otherwise, why aren't they on all the time? I think that is a fair question. Gotcha. Well, Wolverine is certainly uh, more spry than the other characters. But he doesn't have a distance attack. I don't know if that's a dis uh, disadvantage at the moment, though. Also, why is he trapped in a toy box? Wolverine, why are you in a toy box level? I don't understand the story here. Yes. So far, Wolverine level far less annoying than the other levels. That is a creepy looking clown, my goodness. Ow! That little toy, uh... Yikes, that little toy plane had real bombs that exploded very large. Very large patterns. Wolverine went full Iron Man colors. Yay, OMG. Oh, he totally did. Yeah, that's a good call. So we got, got no claws. I mean, he doesn't do a whole lot. All he does is punch either above him or in front of him. Either with claws or without them. Is there any reason why I wouldn't want the claws? I don't know. Seems to me like you'd always want claws, wouldn't you? Huh. The jaw in the background gave me a flashback of a nightmare. This level is basically a nightmare. In fact, this game is basically a nightmare. Why play this any longer than we have to? This game is done. Boy, that is not a good game. <laughs> Yikes, LJN. They, uh, they're earning their reputation there. Let's move on to Inspector Gadget on the GBA. Had to get extra close to rip the big cartridge out. Looks like it's loading. Oh, uh, we're playing Inspector Gadget right now, and then after that, we will be playing Fighting Force 2, whatever that is. From the incredible world of Deke! I don't know what the company Deke is, but that's how they always said it. Every time the little logo came up, Deke! All right, these are very bright colors compared to the last couple of games. A few games, two games, three games. Blah, 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 blah. Good morning, Gadget. Our services have spotted a deserted mad factory. Mod factory? I don't know, but I like the little cartoon graphics. Blah blah blah. There's a story. He's in the garbage can, you throw away the note, it lands in the garbage can, and explodes. Oh! Go, go, gadget hammer out of your head. Oh, you got the springy legs, I like it. I've changed with the little girl that I don't remember. It's been far too long. And now a dog! Wow! Unbelievable. I didn't expect any of that to occur. Pressing the R button makes a sound effect, and that's it. <laughs> Does everyone have a sound effect? Nope. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a special weapon that we don't have ammo for. Huh. Alright, let's play. Alright, can't break boxes. You can smash people on the head, though. Yikes. This is some sort of children's song that's playing. It's upbeat beat, but the song is still an annoying children's song. 
don't like it. <laughs> go, go, gadget, bouncy legs. Can you get up there? How would one jump higher as a gadget? As a inspector of gadgets. Ouch, don't get hit by that. Can I hit it itself? Cannot jump and use the hammer at the same time, just for your info. Yikes, this song is wearing on me. d Mazings here, what's up? Back, sorry, I got a kid mad at me for reading a Batman comic and smash my laptop at lunch. You can bring your laptop to school? Oh, I suppose you probably take notes and stuff on it. Showing that age. Mostly, uh, couldn't have a computer at, at school, at least high school or middle school. So it would be a toy. Not a legitimate means of learning. Can I swim? Oh, he floats. That's kind of dainty. She swims. She's got uh, lungs like Mario. She can just exist down here, no problem. What about the dog? Can I be the dog? Cannot be the dog? Apparently not. Ooh, a bouncing present! Don't know what it does. If I stay still, can I be a dog? If I get above water, can I be a dog? No. The answer is always no. We're stuck as a little girl in the water, but apparently it's a good thing because she is a freaking frog. Look at her swim! She'd do Mario so proud. So proud. Alright, Mr. Dog, what you got for me? What makes you special? Not being Inspector Gadget. What? I became a penguin! For ten seconds, for unknown reasons. What in the world? Well, it's just, it's just better cutscenes than the Spider-Man game. That is fair. Completely and entirely fair. Those cutscenes were awful. Seems to me that this girl... is the most mobile. She seems to be the best suited to complete this game. Oh! I extended his neck! Lel. Why are you stretching your ne neck up, boy? Get up there. Oh, but we definitely want to get there. Oh! How did we do that? How did we do that? I'm so confused! Why does this game make no sense? Ah! Elster says, Jay, imagine playing this game with Mortal Kombat song on. Well, that'd be funny. For real, though, where did that thing come from? It just, it just popped out again. Oh, he did it again. How did you do that? I don't... There, he did it a little... I don't understand. Get up there. Is that Detective Guy a robot? He is Inspector Gadget. This was a cartoon that used to be on for a long time. But it was a, a much older cartoon than this game. So I don't know why all of a sudden they decided, hey, let's have an Inspector Gadget game. But they did. And the song is terrible. And it's annoying the crap out of me. And this game is confusing. I don't get it. Am I supposed to be able to destroy these boxes? I appear not to be able to. What's the goal? I don't understand. This little girl, though, kicks more butt than Inspector Gadget does. Because when you're Inspector Gadget, first of all, a dog, what happens? Dog floats in the water. Inspector Gadget floats in the water. The little girl actually swims and is awesome. I've grown bored of this girl. Not a fan of this game. Is the guy you're playing as Inspector Gadget? Yeah, that was Inspector Gadget. 
But now, it is a little girl. And now, it is the menu of my Retron 5. <laughs> Alright, guys. I've had enough of that. So far, we had uh, Wave Race, which was a okay uh, top-down racing game on the Game Boy. I uh, wasn't sure I understood it completely. But uh wasn't wasn't awful. Then we had Spider-Man 2, which so far is the best game in the bunch. Spider-Man has got some cool abilities. You upgrade him after missions. It's pretty sweet. Uh, he delivers pizzas. Odd, but eventually you fight some dudes. This game was terrible. Looked awful. Uh, all the heroes were garbage. <laughs> and may I say again, it looked awful. This game was so ugly. And now we played Inspector Gadget. We're in a fan, so we're moving on to Fighting Force 2 on the Dreamcast. And I do this, I gotta get up quick, switch a few things in my setup, so I'll be right back. I forgot I have my headphones threaded up my uh, sweater, sweater here, sweatshirt. Pull that out to make this work. Un momento. my chair velcro making all that noise all right don't leave us sorry we're back we're gonna play fighting force 2 now and we'll see if it's any good also my microphone has stayed on this whole time strange it's been having problems lately all right so what 228 1998 how sad is that there we go nine o'clock or 2100 hours Don't don't play. Oh, you're back, says uh, Demazing. Absolutely. Uh, hello, says Jay. Have you ever seen the movie called Sweeney the Barber? You mean Sweeney Todd? Sweeney Todd, who's a barber, with 2007 Johnny Depp. Yeah, absolutely. I think I saw it in theaters. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good movie. I'm normally not a big fan of musicals. But it was more comedic than uh, focused on, like, the music. Yeah, Johnny Depp, he did a good job. He's pretty funny in that. Pretty convincing uh, killer barber. Did you just recently watch that movie? All right, it's fighting. The future, oh. and the world is controlled by the trans global corporations of the late 20th century. Price. Even the law. <gasps> Even the law? Oh no. This is the world of the psychops. Covert operation teams who operate outside of the system. Against the system. Oh. Because sometimes Rebellion. actions speak louder than words. Oh yeah, they do. These graphics are psychops so much better than we were expecting in these days. Uh oh. Illegal bioweapon program. Genetic weaponry based on human DNA. That's not so good, guys. You shouldn't do that. And that's where I come in. Psychops, Agent Manson. Hawk Manson. Hawk Manson. Yeah. And enough firepower to take out a city. Anything that give me the edge. That's right. Well, 
can't wait to see how this goes. So far, this is an awesome beginning movie. His hair also excellent. It's like it's like the guile hair, but it also like droops right at the top of the peak and it's just like dangling up here. <laughs> it's excellent. Team Amazing says Switch is only a few days away. Don't remind me! Don't remind me! I'm trying to forget! It's so hard to wait. It's so hard to wait. Hello Sir says I saw an act about the story in my school. The act is a musical solo. Very cool. Sat in a choir, Sue. Sue? I cannot wait to start this game. I have no idea what to expect right now. I don't even have any idea what type of game this is supposed to be. Besides very dark. He's going in. Brightness. A little bit extra, please. Okay, let's see. Target Tungsten CX prototype metal sample. Surveillance has pinpointed the office where the metal sample is being stored. Sounds thrilling. Uh, locate the security safe and remove the Tungsten CX sample. This must be destroyed. The only way to destroy the Tungsten CX is... At a thousand degrees Fahrenheit in the main blast furnace, eliminate all resistance. Psycops will update you with further information on a need to know basis. Okay then, that's CD audio. Nice. Let's do this. I Okay, third person. I gotta jump. I gotta kick. Whoa, his leg like stretched all crazy. Did you see that? Look at his freaking leg! What are you, Gumby? What? You should jump. There's your punch and kick. Excellent. Oh, I got a knife now. Oh, yeah. Stab some fools. What else you got? Knife. Is this a grenade? Oh, heck yeah, it is. Ho, ho, ho! All right, can't wait to mess some fools up. Let's do this. You got some something to do with these triggers? Oh, we can aim. It's inverted. I hate inverted. Oh, I was like, can I interact with this? I can break it. We know this much. All right. Who wants some? Turn around, turn around. Uh, uh. Have at thee. Can't even see you, but I'm going to beat the crap out of you. Well, so far, a better game than uh, Go Go Gadget Pile of Crap. <laughs> that was not good. It was not a good game. Can't stop it. That's right. I know what I'm doing around here. I'm going to stab you with this knife so hard. Oh! Knifed, bro! You can't even stay away. You can't get away. There's no escape. It's over. I'm just going to get you. Now, I wonder if it means I'll eventually get guns. If I can aim. Oh, boy. Oh! Stab, stab. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That one guy took one kick. Nice, I got a strong kick. Is this going anywhere? No, it is not. Curious what this little thing does. Anything? Oh, did I throw my knife? I threw my knife! That's awesome! Can I pick it up though? Because that would be nice. Nope, knife's gone for good. It's okay, we didn't like our knife. Man, this game is dark, it's hard to see. 
sleep mode. Let's see if we can get you out of sleep mode. Crane loader, production total, 2,000 MT. Not sure what that means. Oh! Oh boy! We manually rebooted the computer. <laughs> Yikes, I'm not sure if that's going to make it work better or not. He's got anger issues. I'm waiting for someone, something, and it's months away. Oh, what are you waiting for? Don't you just... Oh, okay. This game doesn't control very well, if we're honest. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, I can use this D-pad, which only changes the view and doesn't control you. Kicking is the way to go. Kicking is fast and smooth. Punching, not quite as much. Yeah, D-pad really only makes you turn around a lot. A lot. Email working late Monday. See you 10 p.m. Lucy. Oh, the chair exploded! And inside the exploding chair was a gun! Heck yeah! Now we're talking. Ho ho! And there goes all of our ammo. Didn't have a whole lot, did we? Nope, more ammo on the computer. Excellent. Break the computer, get the ammo! Sure to be ammo on a computer. Always remember, break your computer open when you're done. You'll get some ammo out of it. <laughs> I feel like office space. Beat up the computers. Destructible environments, man. It was a thing that was very impressive once upon a time. Not in this game, though. I wouldn't call anything about this impressive so far. Yeah, what's up? We have 44 ammo now. Excellent. Jay. Can we ever get something like a Skype call and you have a movie play and we could watch something? Whoever Jay finds... Whoever finds Jay, Jay's knife gets to be mod. <laughs> Lol, that's funny. Uh, let's see. Watching a movie. That's interesting. Um, is that allowed on Twitch? Is it okay to do that? And then is it okay to upload it onto YouTube afterwards? That's interesting. I can see the the value in that. That that sounds fun. Yeah, Skype call or a Discord call probably is another uh the a voice chat channel. I could probably do that. Yeah. Give that a shot. Sometime. I'm not sure what movie it would have to be though. All ages channel. That's my only concern. We found a knife! Yes! It's not my old knife, but it's a new one. And it'll do. Kick that computer. Well, this game isn't much about fighting. This game is more about kicking stuff until you get cool weapons to come out of it. Like that. That looks to be ammo. That looks to be a lot of ammo. Wow. Right? Because if I... Can I pick these up then as ammo? Oh, we got a dodge. Oh! Oh, did not realize there was all sorts of cool moves you could do. Wow, this is getting actually cooler the more that we play it. Can we do a front, front roll? We can sort of jump forward. It's in the printer. Let's get back to that knife. That was a quick way to kill a printer. There we go. Oh no, we need a key card. Unless we break this keypad? Nope, still needs it. Hmm, where would we find a red keypad?
Is this game just so dark? Combat is not good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This game is uh, is a bit shoddy. Is a bit shoddy. So far, I'd say uh, of all the boxes I've gotten, this might be my weakest one. We uh, we half enjoyed Wave Race. We did enjoy Spider Man. The other three games have been kind of crappy. And I guess it is what it is. This is all according to my preferences. So. Actually, my next box I'm very excited for. So, uh, Retron 5 has a new adapter coming out that allows it to play Game Gear games as well as uh, two different kind of Master System games, uh, game types. So apparently, the Master System, it didn't just have one cartridge slot. It also had a second one. And uh, that second one was like some sort of card. It looked like a thick credit card. And uh, I don't think there were a lot of games released on that, but there were some. And uh, my my current way of playing Master System games doesn't allow the credit card version. So this new adapter allows the normal carts and the credit card looking things. And Game Gear games, and I love the Game Gear. So uh, I'm looking forward to the next box. I'm going to turn on just Master System and Game Gear games, and we'll use that adapter the whole time. Oh, we can grab ledges, huh? Jumping across! Oh, you can't. Too bad. Taking you all out! If there was anyone to take out. This game is weird. This game is janky. This game is lacking in combat. It's just weird, square-shaped rooms everywhere you go. Hmm. Oh well, not every box can be a winner, right? I think I'm done with this. Eh. Eh. I've had some amazing boxes, though. So, I mean... These going for the hidden gems, but uh, they were hidden. They just weren't gems. Only uh, only one I thought was a really good game that I would play again, Spider-Man 2 on Game Boy Advance. I'd definitely play that again, probably in a Game Boy Micro. Uh, that was pretty cool. There was upgrade systems and stuff, and uh, Spider-Man felt very Spider-Man-like. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry this box wasn't my favorite, but hopefully we had a good time anyway. I'm poking fun at these games like, oh my goodness, how freaking bad was this game? <laughs> Boy, that was a bad game. But, uh, you know, funny to make fun of. So, thanks for being here, guys. Sorry I was a little bit late on the stream. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Lauren informs me she's still thinking of Wife Wednesday. So, hopefully, let's get to see Poco tomorrow. Thanks, guys. And uh, I'll see you then. Bye.